I had a brick in my hand. Why? Because somebody went after you. Who, Maya? These two girls I used to know. I could have been them. R Riley, I would have been them. But I'm not. Because they think a hammer and a brick makes you strong. And as much as I wanted to throw a brick through a window, I know that if I did that, that's what would make me weak. I'm strong because there's something inside me that stops me now. It knows how important you've been in my life and it'll never let me do any real damage as long as I live. That part inside me, I'm gonna call it Dorothy. Call it whatever you want. I'm just glad that you didn't do anything bad. Yeah. How come I ain't bad, Matthews? The friends we choose can have the most profound influence in our entire lives. One way or the other. This way. I'm proud of you, Maya. What happened to the girls? Oh, well, I might have had a brick and a hammer, and I might have swung them over my head a little bit and ran, like, right towards them. <laughs> like I was... Maya? So you're Maya again? Well, they seem to think so. They ran away so fast. <laughs> my park. I watch this park every day. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not going to give up on that collar and Renee. But I don't want you to be like them, okay? I can't. Dorothy won't let me. <laughs> New York Code... One, four, five. Vandalism. I'm going to write this one up. Then I'm going to put it into a folder. Then I'm going to misplace the folder. <laughs> and if I never hear from you two little hoodlums ever again, that folder remains misplaced. I'm a hoodlum. <laughs> Why are you giving me a break? My park. I look at this park every day. I have hope for this park, too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, sometimes the system works. <laughs> Thanks for putting my head back on. Yeah. You too. <laughs>